go. Right, so I was at um, Avana Bakeries, which is in Rogerstone. It's about 20 minutes away from Cardiff. It was when I joined um, with Premier Foods, um, so like Ambrose and Kristen, Mr. Kipling's, but they sold us um, in October, I think it was. So I then went over to be part of Two Sisters, which is, I think, one of the biggest uh, company, food companies in the UK now. Um, we basically produced cakes, mainly for M&S, so they were the nicest cakes. Um, and I got to eat a lot of them, which was great, because I've got a very sweet tooth. Um, so to start with, I did HACCP, um, helping to um, update it, because it needs to be done yearly. Um, I was working on that for a good four months, along with helping um, prepare the site for an audit, because we had a very important one. I don't know if you've heard of BRC, but it's quite a big one to have for us as a company. Um, I really enjoyed that job because I got to go all around the factory talking to various people and um, seeing all the production lines and you just really got to know the factory then. Um, it did mean being at the desk a bit more as well when I had to actually put it onto the computer, get it document controlled, but um, you really got to learn the system and I really enjoyed that. Uh, the second role I had was a process technologist, so I got thrown into that a little bit because the old process technologist person left and we had five products and desserts to launch and they're being launched, well they were launched in September so I was helping the chefs, getting the chef's recipe into the factory and one of the products um, I'm actually eating a lot of the, at the moment at home in m &S, it's the chocolate praline tart, I don't know whether you've tried it, it's very nice um, I'll just promote that there 25% <laughs> off <laughs> Yeah, so I really enjoyed that job there because I really got to go into the factory and I spent a lot of time down there. Um, obviously, I had to look at the recipe and try and make it so that it could be done in the factory. Because uh, obviously, making a chocolate ganache, say, um, in the kitchen when you've only got like 500 grams of it, it's quite easy. But when you've got a couple of litres of it, it's a lot harder. Um, and so I obviously had to look at temperatures of it and how to melt it down and. When you're doing trials, you have to go back and do other ones because it might not work the first time. And I had that a lot of the time in my trials where I had to keep being persistent and uh, redoing them. Um, but I've always always had people helping me along the way, and uh, it was it was hard work, but the company always supported me, and they were all really great. Uh, I just learned that I had to just smile. They were always like, "Are you okay?" And I just smiling away. And they soon realised that the more I smiled, was actually the more stressful I was. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it was really good and I mean I love love chocolate and being with like five litres of melted chocolate is amazing. But unfortunately you can't eat it so it's a bit of a nightmare to be fair. Um, what else is there to say? Um, the benefits of actually working on placement was it really boosted my confidence. Um, I was quite shy but my company didn't think I was. But I was and I really felt a lot more confident when I came out of the business, knowing what I want in life. Um, a big learning curve was that I'm actually grown up now, I'm not 16, and I will be going into the big world next year, and I've actually realised now that I actually want to, whereas probably half a, well, a year ago, I didn't want to. I wanted to be 18 for another 20 years. Um, the... Uh... <laughs> um, but the reason probably why I did it the most was just so that I knew what I wanted to do when I went into the food business, and now I do, because I know that I do want to be working on the manufacturing side, I want to be helping with HACCP, I want to be doing the due diligence side of it, but maybe do a bit of process technologist, because that's the great thing about the food business, you don't have to go down one path. Uh, so many people I talk to have been saying, I've done this path and I've done this and this, and so they've done so much in their 20, 30 years of experience, it's just quite exciting. Um, so yeah, that's it really. <laughs>